What's happening, fam? L.A. All moving, still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link, they also they asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for support. But this video, this video is entitled Be a Healthy Parent. So I'm at work, and his brother's out there teaching his kids how to ride a bike. And he's so out of shape <laughs> that he's riding a mountain bike and he flattened the tires. And so he's struggling. And I thought to myself, you know, this sucks. Because, like I got family members who have kids at, a very, at an older age and they say, look, uh, I can't keep up with these kids, man. I'm too old for this. And part of the reason why they're too old is because they're too old, but... Also, that they spend too much time not taking care of themselves. And, you know, I will go out, and, and I made this statement before. Sometimes, um, I don't like fast food that much, but I will go to fast food restaurants every now and then. And one of the things that turned me off about fast food restaurants is I would look at the customers. I'd be like, yo, so if I keep doing this, I'm going to look like that. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to keep doing this. And one thing I remember seeing parents who are unhealthy and their kids are just as unhealthy. And not thinking about it like, yo, you got to be a healthy parent, yo. You know, and we don't take that into consideration because as you know, now technology is funny because I've talked about it before. You don't see kids outside playing that much. And not only do you not see kids outside playing, you don't see parents outside, um, parent, like coaching their kids a lot of times. You know, I, I it's rare that I drive by the baseball field and I see a, you know, I see a, 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 some parents throwing balls and, and hitting balls to their kids. Pause. You know, uh, but same thing. You know, every now and then I would go to the basketball court. Same thing. Football court, barren. Soccer field, empty. And the question is like, yo, what's going on? And and, and weird thing is, even when I go to the gym, um, it's rare to see parents and their kids work out. Now, you know, there's an age limit and stuff like that, but it's rare to see, you know, parents have like kids who are of age and they work out with them it's because it's some of the kids fight now it's a few people i know who take their kids with them they work their kids out but that's like it's an anomaly you know and we don't you know we don't think about this because we don't think that a lot of us still have that 80s like when i grew up you put the kid in front of the tv but they can go out and play with friends well, people are playing with their friends online. You know, people are eating bad to the point where kids have um, adult, you know, type 2 diabetes as kids because of the diet. And that's parenting. That's not the kids. That's parenting. You know, people make fun of, you go to the grocery store, you know, at certain times and you see these shopping carts filled up with food and it's, you know, snacks. I can't say nothing. I eat a gang of snacks. But it's snacks, there's a lot of processed food, a lot of microwavable stuff. You know, nothing that you cook. You know, I, I, I clown, and I've clowned like this for years with, with women I've met. You know, being in the South and you can't cook. And I tell people that's a double negative. You, you know, you, you, you can't cook and you're in the South. That's a double negative. That don't make sense. That mean like you fucked off, you know, part, part of being Southern. For some dumb shit. Or, or you, you're addicted to cooking soul food. To the point that you only going to live till you're 37. You know. But that's parenting. You know. Eat, eat, eat good. Eat eat all of this. No, 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 no. That's the, no, no, I got high blood pressure at 11. Eating that shit. But. This spills over into you can't interact with your kids. Because you're not in enough shape to. You know, 
you you can't play one on one with your kid because you about to catch a heart attack. You know, in a in a one on one to twelve, you can't even, you know, you you just you 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 you, you sit. You, I'm just a jump shot shooter from right here. I can't dribble. I can't post up. Maybe you could post up. Old guys back in the day used to be able to post up and use their weight. I, now they too tired to post up. That says a lot. But you got to be a healthy parent. And it's not just food. Um, sometimes it's unhealthy with, with, you know, the movies, shows, and music that you ingest into your psyche and, and, and what you feed into your kid's psyche. Like some of the messages are not healthy messages, you know. And people are like, oh man, that's a jam, that's a jam, that's a jam. And me back in the day, I used to tell you know, young you know young ladies back when I was younger, they like songs. Oh, I just listen to the beat. Well, how come you follow the words? You know, what do you mean? You just listening to the beat? You just like the beat? Yeah. Well, when the shit say put your hand in the air hole, you put your hand in the air. And you, you answered to be in a hole. Like, you listening to the words. And realize this spills into the kids, you know. Um, when I was young, you know, we used to listen to a lot of hardcore stuff. And... But I played a lot, When I was young, I played a lot of contact sports. All my friends was in the streets and stuff like that. So... That aggression spilled over into our interactions with each other. And sometimes we were angry at the cards we were dealt in life. Sometimes we were angry about poverty. But the music kind of exacerbated the anger. You know, sometimes the movies exacerbated the situation. And, you know, looking back, it like we... We didn't take it as much because we enjoyed the music, but we didn't realize why we were so, um, so aggressive and volatile. Like, I was in the '90s. Like, Mo Murder was like one of the. It's like a, that was like the song. Everybody, Mo Mur, Mur, Mo Murder came out. We was listening to Mo Murder every day, and for years, not just when it came out. Like. You ready? Mo murder, mo like, cause we was there, like in the, in the Midwest in Chicago, a lot of bone was just popping like, and they either had the weed song or the murder song, and a lot of the music we listened to either drugs or murder, and you know classmates got killed. Of course, everybody was gang banging and all that. This, that, and the third, but it was a parental thing because I remember when I was before I got to sh- to the shy like that. Uh, my older cousin used to listen to Too Short a lot. And he put me on all this, the ratchet shit back in the day. <laughs> but he, we had respect because we was living with my grandmother. And we know she didn't, wouldn't allow cussing in the house and cussing in the music. So it was to the point where we would listen to the music and keep, and every cuss word here, t- cut the volume all the way down. So it's like a radio version because... He kind of keep cutting the volume to zero every time he knows he's about to cuss or say nigga. But that was healthy in a sense of we knew he knew the boundaries and I had to go along and follow those boundaries. But those boundaries don't exist. Thus, you know, the, the, the entertainment, the video games, is that and the third where we're teaching... Um, chaos and anarchy and and, 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 and violence and, and rude behavior as a norm because you know we're not being healthy we're teaching kids to lie for us and play play this game and you know help me do this and try to help help me get over on this way and we're not be but when somebody's like you're not being a good parent oh I'm a good parent no you're not no you're not no you're not you know because we're not being healthy as far as t- Raising kids to be healthy because I see this as adult as an adult. There's so many adults that do dumb shit and fuck shit to cause an altercation on a regular basis. 
because they want to be um, confronted and addressed. And I was telling a coworker this earlier today. Um, I went somewhere, and somebody got in a, you know, I was waiting on the parking spot, and somebody parked in the parking spot, looked me dead in my face, and walked off. And I was walking into a store, and I'm like, yo, what are you doing? And they just walked off. I said, okay, I got something for your ass. So I, I parked in another spot, walked in the store, because I was going to the same store. So they walking around, they putting, you know, they picking up stuff, and they have it in their hands, and I just walked up on them. I said, hey, what was up with you taking that parking spot like that? And you saw me about the park. And you saw all those people who was waiting on me to park. And they're like, oh, I, I didn't know. Uh, oh, I didn't, whatever. I said, okay, nah. I slapped all they shit out their hand on the floor. and said, nah, I ain't see your shit right there either. And I walked off. They got mad. I was like, cool, get mad. Fuck you gonna do? Same way you, nah, I'm I'm where you was at. What's up? And it's like, oh. And this is the problem. Because people are teaching people to be bullies and be aggressive and to be and to have microaggressions and to be pa- passive aggressive with people and, 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 and to eat unhealthy and to not work out and to do everything, you know, through technology and not with your hands. That's, you know, we're not being healthy parents because we're passing down bad ideologies and bad behaviors. And then, you know, kids go out into the world and the world eats, eats them for lunch. So, I'm done because I got to go watch the fight tonight. Like, share, subscribe. We out. Peace.